What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing a brand new Pokemon just released in the Indigo Disc. We got ourselves an Archer Ludon team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. This team right here was created by Brian. Brian is a viewer to the channel, so huge shout out to him. He sent me this team over on Twitter. If you guys want to send me rental codes or teams with new or returning Pokemon, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below or do me one better. Head over to my Twitter, link is down in the description below, and DM me over there. But the first Pokemon I want to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Archaludon with Stalwart as its ability and the Choice Specs as its item. It's got the new Stellar Terror type, which I will go over in just a little bit, with Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Electro Shot, and Terror Blast. So what the new Stellar Terror type does is it gives every single move stab boost typing. So it gives it a stab boost, so, but it's only 1.3 times boost damage, I believe, instead of 1.5. But it's going to give everything a nice boost of damage, and on top of that, your Terror Blast turns into a brand new move that will be super effective onto all Pokemon that are Terrastalized. It's a really cool move right there. I think it's dope. We're going to have to definitely see it firsthand because I actually have never used it before. Just read up on it, so I guess we'll learn more about it when I use it in battle. Our second Pokemon on today's team is going to be our weather control Pokemon. It is going to be Pelipper with Drizzle and a Focus Sash as its item. It's got Weather Ball, Hurricane, Tailwind, and Wide Guard to protect Pokemon from double hitting moves. In our third slot, we got Indeedee. We're pairing up Indeedee with the brand new Expanding Force Hatterene, so that should be able to do some crazy damage. Indeed, he's got Psychic Surge with the Psychic Seeds, Follow Me, Psychic, Helping Hand, and Protect. And our fourth slot is the brand new Hatterene. Magic Bounce and Life Orb, pairing this up with Indeedee like I already mentioned, and it has the moveset of Dazzling Gleam, Expanding Force, Trick Room, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got Old Reliable. Iron Hands is still going to be a very solid option, especially in Regulation F. It's got Cork Drive with the Assault Vest, Rock and Fake Out, Wild Charge, Heavy Slam, and Train Punch. In our final slot, we have the King of Pokemon, I should say the King of Doubles Pokemon, Incineroar, returning back into the meta here with Intimidate and the Covert Cloak. It's got Fake Out, Knock Off, Parting Shot, and Willowis, great little support moveset on this Incineroar. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, look to use Archer Ludon and Incineroar in Regulation F. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Reggie Gagas team. Regigigas is OP with Weezing, so that is something we have to watch out for. We definitely have to watch out for. Um, I could go Incineroar turn one, but the problem here is if they go Weezing and Regigigas, my Intimidate won't work, none of my abilities will work, and that could be rather annoying. It definitely could be rather annoying, and I kind of want to lead Arch Loot on here. Just get cooking with that. I feel like that could be really, really good. We won't have Stalwart, but still, even without the ability, I think we could be chilling here. I definitely think we could be chilling here. So I'm going to go there, and I'm also going to go Incineroar. I am going to go Incineroar here. I do have choice specs on Golden Gate. Golden Gate, I called him Archer Ludon. He looks like a bridge, so that's why it seems Golden Gate. But I'm still going to go in with both of them as the lead. And then in the back end, I'm going to bring Iron Hands because I really, really like that Pokemon. And last but not least, I could go Hatterene because they seem like they have a nice little Trick Room side of things. And I think that could work out well for us. So hopefully they don't bring Weezing or Regigigas. That would just be annoying, especially because I have no Legendary. So why would they bring him? Why would they bring him? It'd be mad annoying. It would definitely be mad annoying. But say they do go Reggie Gay, get some Weezing. I can still fake out turn one. I can still choice into a nice stab move. I could go Stellar Terror type as well. We have options here. We have options here. And they end up leading Slowpoke and Carbing. Okay. I see you. I understand. I get off Intimidate, which is good. And both these guys can actually pop Trick Room. I believe Carbink is Water and Fairy. Or not Water. Uh, ice and Rock. But it's actually Fairy and Rock. And you were just straight water, right? Water psychic. My bad. My bad. So from here, I could go flash cannon. And I think I am going to go flash cannon. Just choice into that. And I'm just going to fake out the slowpoke. I'm just going to fake out the slowpoke turn one. So I'm going to end up doing a little bit of fake out action onto the slow bro. Flash cannon's going to get dropped in here with the choice specs. Doing a ridiculous amount of damage. But of course, this thing is sturdy. So it's probably sturdy and evo light. And... Are any of you guys able to pop Trick Room? That's the real question. Oh, you have Red Card. That's actually fine by me. Can you go into Iron Hands or Hatterene? Hatterene, maybe? Iron Hands works. Just in case they pop Trick Room. Now I get another turn of Fake Out. It's going to set up Stealth Rocks. I like that. I like that. I really do like that. 
And you pop in trick room with slowpoke, and then you're flinching. You are flinching. So from here, I'm just going to fake you out. And on top of that, I'm going to drop a knockoff. I don't really know what card banks can really do. But it seems like getting off some damage on the Slowbro right now is perfect time. Yeah, good call from me. So Fake Out's going to come out here. Alongside with Knockoff, we'll take off the Evo Light. We'll also Fake It Out and make it flinch again. And they're going to bring out Urshifu. Fake Out, out and about again. Knockoff coming through. That's some nice damage. So this next turn, what I would like to do is I could Terrasalize Incineroar here into straight. I could Terrasalize Incineroar into straight water which i think i'm gonna do and i think i'm just gonna parting shot and go get out of different pokemon i think that's gonna be my play he's gonna end up withdrawing slowpoke that's totally fine he's gonna go into now you go back into car bank maybe or your fourth and final poke go back into car bank so they're gonna sacrifice their car bank here i'm gonna terrasize and Sinor just so i don't die out to Surging Strikes, and I'm going to Parting Shot out of here, I'll get the attack drop, and I can be able to fake out later in the game, and pop another Intimidate later in the game. So this is why Incineroar is just ridiculously OP. He's just so good. Drain Punch actually flies through here, okay. I understand. And Parting Shot's going to come here. So we didn't really have Terror, oh yeah we did, we're Dark type too. So Terror Slide is going to work well, we get off that Parting Shot, and I'm out of here. So now from here I could go back in the Archer window, which could be the play here, but you are... Actually, I like Archaloot on here. I don't mind Archaloot on. I could actually go Hatterene. But yeah, I'm going to go Archaloot on here. Get Archaloot on out and about. He is minus one on physical attack, so if he does want to go into a Drain Punch in my Archaloot on slot, it's not going to KO us. So Wild Charge is going to pick up the KO. I'm going to Wild Charge into that Urshfu slot next turn, and I'm just going to Choice Spec into either Dragon Pulse or Flash Cannon into the next Pokemon they send out. I'm ready. I'm looking good right now. I'm feeling good. Archer Luton on, on the field. We got Incineroar ripping. And Regigigas comes out here. Regigigas isn't that good without Weezing on side. So I'm really not too worried about it. But from here, again, going to go in the wild charge. And let's just choice into... I think Dragon Pulse would be better than Flash Cannon, right? Does a bit more damage. A bit higher power. We could lower special defense. But I think we're fine with this. So I'm just going to gonna go into Flash Cannon here. And we'll stick with that. And they just end up canceling battles. So match number one going to me, my Incineroar, and my Archer Ludon. Second match on its way. And this is what you get on the casual ladder. A bunch of legendaries from time to time. And they have Zacian. Is that that's not Zacian? That's uh, Zamazetta. They have Zamazetta, Shadow Rider Calyrex, the brand new Indigo Disc Turtle Legendary, and the Rockin' Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Grimstrong. So this one going to be pretty tough for us it definitely is going to be pretty tough i'm going to go into same lead i think i think archer ludon is going to be great here and i also love incineroar just for fake out purposes so i'm going to go in with both of them in the back end i am going to bring i could go pelipper with the focus ash not too bad we could set the rain we could do some big time damage with hurricane i got weather ball too i actually like pelipper here i'm going to bring pelipper in the back end and last but not least gotta go with iron hands i feel like this double fake out just works so well and you can really rip after it you could definitely get after it. We could have went into Indeedee Hatterene. That is definitely an option. But again, I think in today's video, I really just want to try to showcase Archer Ludon and Incineroar as much as I possibly can. Considering Hatterene and Indeedee, like you guys seen combos like that. Like Arm Rouge and Indeedee are pretty much the exact same thing, right? It's pretty much the exact same thing. So Calyrex comes out here from them alongside with Incineroar. I do have Covert Cloak. So now might be a solid turn for me to maybe just stellar terror my stellar terror here i could do this and go into a terror blast with stellar terror i could do that i could do that i could go stellar terror here this will stellar terror blast which i kind of like i have the choice spec and you know what screw it we're gonna do it we're gonna do it i'm gonna go right after you and on top of that I am going to double down to Calyrex. Because I feel like he might just fake out my Incineroar here. Actually, I should maybe just fake out his Incineroar. Just in case he wants to fake out me. But you know what? I think he's going to fake out my Incineroar. And I have Cobra Cloak. So, I'm going to double down. Stellar Terror type coming out here. This is my first time using it. Super excited to be using it. 
And uh, I believe with the choice spec, you can get off some big time damage. But look at that! Look at that! Every single typing in one, swirling around my head. Stellar tower typing. Awesome. Fake out does come into an incineroar, so that was a great call for us to actually go after him. He's gonna go for an astro barrage, which I'll be fine with. I don't mind. That move looks sick, though. And Terror Blast is coming in hot here. Nice, lovely Terror Blast. Coming in hot. Look at that move. Look at that move. Looks so dope. Looks so dope. My attack is going to drop here. And my special attack is going to drop. But I like the damage that we got off. Knockoff's going to fly here. He's going to finish off the Calyrex. And now might be a good time to swap into Iron Hands. Just reset that choice. Now might be a good time. Good old Stella Terror type. It does drop attack and special attack. I kind of forgot about that. I, like I said, this is my first time using it. But still, I thought that was a nice way to use it. Zamazetta now comes out here. Um, I think throwing a burn on that thing could be really good for us. And maybe just hard swapping into Pelipper or even Iron Hands here. I'm thinking Pelipper. If I could swap into Pelipper right now, throw a burn over onto this thing. And then kind of go from there. Maybe set up a tailwind the next turn. I want to eventually party shot. Just get on out of here. I'm going to go into Pelipper. I'm going to reset my choice spec. Res reset my special attack set too. He's going to go for a body press on me, which just KOs me. Nice, lovely body press. Nice, lovely body press. So, we're out of that. He goes for a U turn and he's just going to pivot out here. So, from here, I definitely want to set up. I definitely want to set up Tailwind. I want to get some speed for the rest of the squad. And Zamazeta looking like an issue for him, right? He's looking like an issue. He throws out the turtle. This thing has terror shift. I don't I, I don't know what this thing does, but it looks incredible. And I'm gonna bring out Iron Hands here. Just so I can fake out, pop a tailwind, and uh go from there. But the real question is, who do I want to fake out? I think I'd rather fake out. Oh, I could drain punch here. I think I'd rather fake out the turtle though. The turtle's looking scary. So I'm Zeta, bulky. But not as scary as the turtle. So I'm gonna fake out the turtle here. He ends up withdrawing the turtle. You son of a biscuit. You're just gonna intimidate me? How dare you? How dare you? I mean, that's not that bad of a call. I mean, Zamazet is gonna get off some damage. I do get off the tailwind. I don't think he's KOing though. Alright. A little bit of intimidate action. Fake out. Give a little clap. And body press is flying. So this thing's hitting hard with body press. He ain't playing around. Tailwind's out and about. Okay, so now we got tailwind here. Um. I just start drain punching. Weather ball, drain punch. Um, we're going to Arch Ludon now, but uh, I feel like we just stay in here and we just start attacking. So I'm actually just going to weather ball and I'm going to go for a drain punch. I'm right in this slot. I know we're minus one, but let's just start attacking here. Big Guy's going to go after Pelipper. Are you doubling down into Pelipper? Please don't. You are. So he ends up dropping out, but I still have. My archer loaded out in the back end. So we got some nice speed ready to go. Drain punch is going to come cooking here. Damage isn't too bad. Damage is not too bad. Now I get out archer loot on. Archer loot on comes out here. And does this make me like a normal type? What does this make me? What's a stellar type do? Is everything going to be neutral up against me? The problem here is I can't really KO Zamazetta. I could go for Terror Blast. I think it's my best bet. So I'm going to go Terror Blast here. I'm going to go Drain Punch. This one's just not looking good. Zamazet is just out bulking everything we do. He really is. Terror Blast is going to get cooking here. Dropping the stars. <laughs> and it, again, it's not doing any crazy damage because Zamazet is just so bulky all around. My special attack drops. Body Press coming through here. And that's going to KO. God dang. Yo, the legendaries annoy me so much, man. They really do. They really do, but we gotta definitely use Arch Loot on a little bit more in match number three. Drain Punch is gonna fly here. We are gonna pick up the KO, but this Iron Hands is not defeating a Zamazetta along with a uh, along with this this thing. What is, I don't even know what this thing is called. The Turtle. I've been calling it the Turtle. Actually, I mean we could fight. Actually, I got Drain Punch to get back some mean HP. I'm just gonna keep sending it. It's super effective on the both. Let's just keep sending it. See if Iron Hands can clutch this one up. That'd be amazing. That'd be lovely. That would be lovely. 
So Arsenal Udon lit it up in match number one. He did pretty good here in match number two. I was just trying it out for the most part with, uh, with what's it called? With the new Stellar Terror type. But he ends up going Terra Sandstorm. That was ridiculously cool. This thing has Terra Shell. What does that do? That was so cool. I don't even know what it did. That move was so, supposed to be super effective, and it wasn't. It, like, put a shell on it. I didn't have time to read it, but that's crazy. That thing's going to be OP whenever it's released into uh, competitive battles, but probably won't be for a little bit. We're 1-1, one one, lost to a couple legendaries. Let's go hop into our third. Look for that winning record. Final match on its way. We lost that last battle due to some nice new legendaries, but on top of that, we're going up against Palkia here in match number three. They also have Politoed for Rain, Storm Drain, Gastron, and then they got Fluttermane, King Gambit, and Amoongus. So not a team that we want to take lightly. I think Incineroar is just such a good lead all around, so I am going to end up leading Pelipper, and I think Incineroar. And the reason I want to lead Pelipper is just to get off a Tailwind. I think they have a few Pokemon that are faster than us, so being able to pop a Tailwind is going to be great. Arch Ludon's going to come in in our third slot, and we're going to stick with the same four that we've been bringing into match number one and match number two with uh, these four right here. So, looking for that winning record. We are one and one. Won our first match. Arch Ludon's been great. Incineroar has been great. Match number two, a little bit harder considering, again, legendaries were on the other team just doing work on to me. And now we're sitting here match number three, and I think we can I think we compete here. But I'm very upset. By accident, I hit no music, and it annoys me every time I have it on. Need a little bit of background music. It's always nice. But this third and final match, no music going on at all. You can hear the rain, the sound of the rain. We're going to intimidate King Gambit. Kind of annoying. They got Defiant ready to go. <laughs> and uh, Amoongus is sitting here. Oh, ouch. Um, Okay, so Tailwind's definitely going to be my friend here. I'm going to fake out you. Oh, Amoongus can spore me now. And to be honest, I'm going to fake out the Moongus. I think he goes after Pelipper, who has Focus Ash, which is actually really good for us. It's actually really good for us. So, I'm cool with that. So, I'm going to fake out the Moongus here. They're probably going to attack Pelipper. And then from the next turn, what do we keep to do? King Gambit with Defiant. Probably should have... Should have realized that because Incineroar were such a predictable lead. So you're probably gonna see more Defiant Pokemon come into the play. Defiant competitive. You'll probably see Milotic being used a bit more. But I have no fire moves, which is fine. We don't really need them considering we're in the uh the rain. And I think Pelper can get some work done here, especially with Hurricane, all that good stuff. So King Gambit is oh you withdraw the moon kiss? Get on out of my face. But King Gambit's plus one on attack. He's gonna go into Gastron. Which is fine. Which is fine. You think you're going for a water move? I'm not. I'm faking out. So I get off the fake out, chip up. Tailwind's going to get out and about. And King Gambit, what are you popping here? What are you doing? That's my question. You know, for Cow Tackle, you've been the Pelipper, right? That's exactly why I want to fake out the Moongus rather than the King Gambit. Because I just can just uh, focus that here. Like we did. So we had Sucker Punch. We know that's the thing. Um, do I just hard swap here? And Parting Shot at the same time? I think that's not a bad call. Hard swap into you. And I will parting shot into you. Cool. Gastron just staring into my soul. He's just staring into my soul. So I think Sucker Punch is going to come out here, especially with Tailwind up and about. So I think by swapping into my boy right here, it's going to be good. We can eventually drain punch. Or go into fake out in the king game, but the next turn... Depending on if he terrors or not. Depending on if you're going to Terrasilize next turn. We'll see. He ends up withdrawing. That's odd. Why would you withdraw King Gambit? That's very odd. You're plus one on attack, and you're just going to bring out Flutter Me. Which I don't mind. I really don't mind. So I get the parting shot here, which is great. And then on top of that, I can just heavy slam that Flutter Me next turn. The so parting shot coming out here. Getting that nice little special attack drop and attack drop in the same turn. And... Do I go into Archer Ludon or do I go back into Paloops? I could go back into Paloops and just save my Archer Ludon, but Archer Ludon's nice. What's your speed at? What is your speed? 118. You're gonna be faster on the Flutter Man? You're cutting it close, but you know what? I'm gonna bring him out here. I'm gonna bring him out. Archer Ludon coming out here. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna go Archer Ludon. Um, I could Terrasilize if I want to. I could Terra. And what move just happened? Does this thing just go for like a muddy water or something? What do you go for? I I I didn't even read it. I didn't even read it. If 
But uh, I could go Heavy Slam. Each of them, or I can go Heavy Slam, or I can go um, my other move. But you know, I'm going to go Heavy Slam here. And I'm actually going to choice in Dragon Pulse. I think choice in a Dragon Pulse is going to be solid, especially with the Pokemon that I have on the back end. I don't want to choice into a Steel move right here. So I still have Terra. I got some great Steel type Pokemon on the field right now. I think Heavy Slam can do enough damage on the Flutter Main to finish it off. And then in the back end, we still have Pelipper. So he ends up just protecting. Okay. So you protect that Pokemon. Gastron's minus one on special attack, and he's just going to protect as well. I guess he just wants to read out the moves that I'm using. That's fine. That's cool. I'm fine by that. And maybe they're just wasting out Tailwind turns at the same time. Maybe they're just doing that. But I believe we have one more turn left in Tailwind, which is massive. Um... And I think I just do the same thing, right? I think I just do the same thing. The real problem here would be is if they go into... I'm going to stick with this, but I would say the real problem would be is if they swap Fluttermane into King Gambit. I kind of want to make that read and go for a Drain Punch. But I'm going to play it simple considering I think we have the upper hand here. But uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what's going to happen. I shoot it through the Drain Punch. <laughs> no, it's going to be a Moongus instead. Okay, I can deal with that. So it's going to be a Moogus instead of King Gambit. Dragon Pulse is going to get cooking over here. Choice Specs on top of that. That's some nice damage. We love that damage. Heavy Slam coming out here. Oh, we like that damage too. We like that damage too. Solid damage. And Icy Wind's going to come across here. So just slow us down a little bit. No big deal. Nothing too crazy. And speed is going to get dropping. So I think from here... If he goes into a Rage Powder, we can still Dragon Pulse that slot, considering we have Stalwart. And Stalwart's a great ability. It stops redirection moves such as, uh... Such as, uh, what's it called? Rage Powder and Follow Me. But I think I might just double down into a Moongus. I'm not too worried about Gastron here. It's not hitting too hard. It's not doing anything too crazy. So I'm gonna actually just gonna get rid of a Moongus here. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And they end up Witcher on Gastron. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine with me, because your Moongus is gone unless it's protecting. Unless it's protecting. I'd be very upset if it does protect. No, he withdraws a Moongus. So he's going to go into King Gambit here. The Gambo's coming back out here. He's doing some nice hard swaps. Dragon Pulse flying into King Gambit. Not bad. <laughs> That's some good damage for not very effective move. Heavy Slam also flying. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Rain's gone. Tailwind's gone. Um... Going to Drain Punch you. No. No, 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 no. We're going to Heavy Slam Flutter Mane here. And I'm going to Dragon Pulse to probably finish off King Game. But this Dragon Pulse has been doing some mean damage. It's been doing some mean damage. I am scared of the uh, the Flutter Mane. The Flutter Mane needs to go. Because if it Terrasilize here, say Fairy Typing, and just rips into me, that could be a problem. Withdrawal and King Game. What is up with all the withdrawals here? Make a move. Attack me. Attack me. Moongus comes out here. Back with Regenerator. Flutter main protects. Make a move. Make a move. You have to make a move. You have to make a move. Dragon Pulse is now going to come out here and almost finish off a move. It's massive. It's massive. You have to make a move. I feel like we have this dude up against the wall. Just being hyper offensive here. <clears throat> and I'm going to stick with Heavy Slam and stick with Dragon Pulse into the Moongus slot. Because if they go Rage Powder here to try to redirect the slots, I want to just get rid of a Moongus. And go from there. But now comes Dazzling Gleam here. We're able to soak. And that should pretty much be the match, right? Dragon Pulse going to finish off this Amoongus. Get it on out here. Arch Luna hitting like a truck. And Heavy Slam should be able to finish off Fluttermane. I still have a few of my Pokemon in the back end as well. It's Heavy Slam cooking. Bye-bye, Fluttermane. And that's pretty much the only Pokemon I was really worried about was Fluttermane right there. Fluttermane was just such a huge threat. And I knew once I can get rid of Fluttermane, I should be able to win this match. So now they have King Gambit left, and what's the last Pokemon? I can't even think of it. He threw it out here like nine times, and I can't even think of it. It's Gastrodon. That's what it is. And Gastrodon come out here. Okay. Fine by me. It's fine by me. Um, Gastrodon might be faster than us at this point. But I'm going to do that, and then just go with Dragon Pulse. Actually, Arch Ludon should be faster than Gastrodon, but they just cancel battle. So there it is. Arch Ludon killing it in match number three. We go two and one. So happy I was able to showcase Choice Specs Archer Ludon on the Cash Ladder in today's video. We also have Incineroar on this team, who is phenomenal, leading him in every single battle. And this Pokemon is just going to be a huge problem once it's allowed to be used in rank in like January, I believe. But still, 
This team was amazing. Absolutely love it. Did not use Indeedee or Hatterene at all. But like I said, I want to focus on showcasing Arch Ludon and Incineroar. And I feel like I did a pretty good job at that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.